Hey everyone, in the news this week, another US bank is on the verge of collapse and this time it's First Republic Bank. So here's a joke for you. What did dubious woke financial institutions have in common with the Eiffel Tower? Answer, they're both parasites. There's also only a week to go until the coronation of King Charles and so the household cavalry have been practicing their new ceremonial duty. This is all in preparation for if Prince Harry shows up, so they're preparing for the changing of the locks. I also heard another member of the royal family had died, but then it turned out to be the TV show The Royal Family. It was uh, Peter Martin who played Joe. Also passing away this week was Jerry Springer at the age of 79. The obituary in the Telegraph is well worth a read, by the way. But anyway, I'm imagining the funeral director asking whether the family want a ceremony at a graveyard or a crematorium, and the family would be fist-pumping the air, chanting, Burry, Burry, Burry. And two members of the Labour Party walk into a bar, and the barman asks why the long face, and they say it's because Diane Abbott's been opening her mouth again and talking to the media. This time the MP claimed that Jewish people have never experienced racism. And that begs a question about whether she knows about how many people were killed during the Holocaust. To which of course the answer is no, because she's famously unable to count. And finally, Sotheby's is going to be auctioning off 7 million quid's worth of Freddie Mercury's personal belongings. And if the auctioneer is looking for material, there's probably a good joke in there about the Queen song Hammer to Fall. Anyway, see you next week. Like these, click subscribe.